Have you ever wanted to cut yourself or a person out of a photo and leave the background transparent? Well today, I'm going to show you how to do it in Photoshop Mix on iOS and Android. Stay tuned. G'day and welcome to the Doug Houston YouTube channel. This is a channel where we do tech reviews, tutorials and quick tips just like this one. So if you're into that sort of thing, why don't you subscribe below and check the bell so you get notified when new videos post. Have you ever wanted to cut out a person from a photo, leave their backdrop blank so that you can use it in your graphics? Maybe it's a thumbnail for YouTube. Maybe it's your little profile picture on your social medias. Maybe it's something else. But today we're gonna to look at how we can do that in a nifty little app called Photoshop Mix on iOS and Android. So let's head on over and we'll show you how to do it. Here we are on the iPad today for this quick tip and uh, we're gonna use Photoshop Mix to quickly and easily cut the subject out of a photo. So let's get straight to it. We're gonna go straight to the Photoshop Mix. And we're gonna hit the plus at the left hand side there. And we want to take an image of the camera, so we're going to do this live here. And I'm going to put myself in frame and take a photo. You can watch me do that. There we go, super simple photo. So we're going to use the photo. Let's take that. And that loads us into a new canvas there in Photoshop Mix. We're going to go for the option at the bottom that says cut out. That loads us up and we're going to go uh, over on the left there you see subtract subtract we're going to select that now i'm going to just run my finger over the uh, background that we want to remove and you can see that it starts to go give you that transparent and you can see even as i go over near myself that's going to be a bit tricky with that picture behind me we're just going to as we can and we're going to go over this side And you can see it automatically picks the areas and starts filling it in. Okay, we got a little bit better there. Use the check button there and you can see more or less we've got roughly cutting us out around the edges. There's a little bit of roughness around the head, mainly because of the picture that was behind me there. You can see there's a little bit missing there, which I will tweak up again in a little bit. And near the top of the frame there where my hair is touching the edge, probably didn't get enough information to uh, crop out a bit of that wall behind my head. But well, I'll tweak that a little bit more and then we'll get back into the next part where the file is ready to go and export to uh, your PC, your Mac or even just use in other parts of Photoshop Mix or another app on your iPad altogether. Let me tidy it up, I'll get right back to you. A little bit of uh, fine tuning and tweaking there and it's a lot better. So that's gonna be our final product for the purpose of the tutorial. So let's uh, go back out to the main menu and export that so that we can use that. So there's our picture there, it says new composition, and it's just uh, just saving that. You can see a little, little uh, spinning wheel there at the bottom, just saving that. And what you can do is quite simply click on the share button at the bottom there, which is the box with a little arrow pointing up. You can obviously save that to your camera roll, which is what I'm going to do now. And that's putting in my camera roll, you can see that's done. Now there's other share options within the app there to some of the other products from uh, Photoshop and Adobe, which I'm, we're not gonna go through now, but from the photo album, we can quite simply go in there now and share it. There's the last one there. We can get that, we can simply share that using the share function again. And I like to send it to my Mac by AirDrop, of course. You know, you can share that with AirDrop or you can share it if you wanna get it off your iPad to like your Google Drive, your OneDrive, your Dropbox. You can use the file transfer uh, program. There's so many options to get it off your iPod. It's ridiculous, it's so easy. What I like to do is export that to my Mac and use it in GIMP uh, with my thumbnails. So super simple. I'm sure you'll be able to utilize that easily on your iPad, your iPhone, or on your Android device. Well, I hope that quick tip was helpful for you. 
If so, why don't you give it a thumbs up? If it wasn't so helpful, give it a thumbs down. But whatever you do, make sure to subscribe to get more videos like this one. And if you have anything to add about Photoshop Mix or any other tip on cutting yourself out of a photo, why don't you put it in the comments below. If you want more quick tips like this one, why don't you check up here? And if you want more videos from this channel, you can look down here. And don't forget to press the subscribe button so you don't miss a thing every time we post a video. We'll catch you later.